What's up guys, Laura Sanko here for Quick Hits, presented to you by Jose Cuervo Tequila, and I am here with the iced out Kevin Holland. 14 career knockouts for that one, and I gotta be, that felt pretty good, huh? Yeah, it felt pretty good, especially going in there against a knockout artist like uh, Pontini Bill itself, you know, not, and, I, and no excuses, but I really didn't know how my right hand was going to be playing into this fight, you know, granted broken it the last time, and as soon as I got cleared, I was in here about a week or two later, so. I didn't think it was going to play out right, but thank God I got a left hand as well. A lot of us were kind of wondering about that because we yeah. were doing the timeline on when you injured the hand, how severe it was. Yeah. I mean, was there any thought about not having this fight? You pushed, uh, you kind of pushed it. Yeah, honestly, I never had any thoughts about not having a fight until we got in the back room right there. We got in the back room, I got messages from me and my mom and uh, messages from me and my manager. I was questioning whether I should be doing it or not. I put that little glove on for my first time ever when I got in the back. Oh my God. And uh, we threw a punch and my hand instantly felt funny. And I was like, well, fuck, let's count on the left tonight. So... <laughs> Threw the right out there a couple times to make him believe that it was going to happen. And I dropped him with the right when he had me with a kick. But sure enough, it was the left hand. Popped on him. It was like gravy on mashed potatoes and it felt good. You are absolutely wild. You are absolutely <laughs> wild. I got to ask you though. Okay, so this week, a lot of narratives about whether you were focused or not, right? Like oh, yeah. wanting the weight different, tripping yeah. at Jorge, not, though, right? yada, yada, yada. But like, do people <laughs> just not understand how you operate? Is that, I, we, do, we, do we not just get you? Yeah, I don't think people get me, and I don't, I don't expect them to get me. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm an entertainer first and foremost. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm here to entertain you guys. I understand that that's what I do best. So uh, if I say something about changing weight classes, I'm down to change weight classes at last second. Yeah. I know we both can make 170. Honestly, I think I made 170 probably easier than everybody else on the fight card made 170. But uh, I'm still down to fight at 185. If I'm walking down the street and I smell good food, closed mouth don't get fed. <laughs> so I asked him if he wanted to switch weight classes. Yeah. He didn't want to switch weight classes. I feel better when I'm primed out. Yeah. I was primed out at 170, so. Well, you look primed out there tonight. I mean, the story of this Thank fight you. was your hand speed. I mean, your yeah. your angles, your footwork. Uh, was was this fight what you expected it to be? Uh, no, honestly, I expected it to be a little bit easier. Ponzi was tough. I thought I was going to be able to get him out of there in the second for sure, after, especially after hurting him in the first. Yeah. Uh, but no, the guy came back in the third round, started punching on me a little bit. So, uh, yeah, don't take that guy lightly at all. He'll fuck you up. <laughs> were those were those kicks affecting you at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. Those kicks in the third round were definitely starting to slow me down. I'm glad he didn't land them earlier in the fight, or else that would have really sucked. Yeah, that beautiful left hook, man. That was gorgeous. Did you know that would be there? When you, I mean, did you see the opening earlier in the fight, or just uh, in that moment? I honestly was thinking about uh, left uppercut, but uh, instead I got the left hook. Hey, nice win, brother. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Giving some love to Christian Rodriguez there. I like it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Duke Rufus. I've been a fan of Duke Rufus ever since I first started teaching at. Uh, I, started, I used to teach at Travis's back in the day, yeah. and I used to always watch Duke Rufus's videos yeah. and steal his moves and teach them at class. So, yeah, big fan anytime somebody trained under Duke Rufus. It was a beautiful knockout, man, but I have to ask. First of all, what were you what were you saying to Bruce Buffer? I want to know about all these conversations you were having. Uh, what would you say to Bruce? I, I, I told Bruce to give me a, a very dumb nickname right before the Wonder Boy fight, <laughs> so I apologized to him about that. Oh. Um, and then... What were you saying to President Trump? President Trump, I was just saying, nice to meet you, President. Okay. You know what I mean? Never met a president before, so it was pretty cool to meet a president. Yeah. Then I was telling uh, Logan Paul that uh, Prime tastes really good when you put some uh, with some yak on top of it. That so if you purple one is good. Yeah, if you ever put Hennessy on top of the energy drinks, it tastes fire. So I pour a little I'm Hennessy. I'm going to try that. And I'm sponsored by Jose Cuevo, so I'm allowed to talk about Hennessy because they're, 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 okay. they're partnered up okay. together. We're sponsored by Jose Cuervo, yeah. too, so, so that's, a know, that's a good talk. Yeah, topic. and you can even put a little bit of tequila, you know what I mean, Jose Cuevo, with the prime. So you mix the prime with any type of Jose Cuevo type of thing, and you put that shit together, yeah. and it's a hell of a party drink. So I'm going to try yeah. that out. Yeah, I mean, if your heart stops working, don't blame me. I won't. But, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> All right, you got the name Jorge Masvidal on your tongue. What do, yeah. you, what do you like so much about that? But why, why uh, do you guys have this thing now? I, I don't, you know, really, honestly, I, I used to be really a uh, big fan of the guy. Uh, he started sucker punching people, started living life a little different, uh. started wearing chinchillas and started moving life a little differently than I, I thought he should. So maybe I just don't agree with the way he's living life. But ultimately, he has a BMF belt. He's never putting it on the line. I want that shit. It looks better than the regular belts to me. So that's what I want. I'm not really the type of person that wants the regular belt, but I do want the BMF belt. I could lose two fights in a row and still have the BMF belt, so it's my type of party. It, you know absolutely, what I mean? that would be a fun one. Hey, I know you got a barbecue and some Domino's to get you tomorrow, yeah. so I will let you go enjoy these fights. Kevin, thank, thank you. you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Guys, keep it locked in right here. More quick hits headed your way.